Hi, it's Bridget. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. We are in the greenhouse this morning and there are storms of foot. You might hear some of the rain on the windows, which is the roof here. So if the rain gets intense or the storm comes in, we're going to embrace it and just let it be a natural part of our conversation together today, okay? All right, so, hi. Today we are going to have a conversation with Naya Rivera in the afterlife. Now, many of you have requested that I speak with Naya. She uh, made her transition last summer unexpectedly in a tragic accident. And I just felt like here, this was a good time for me to reach out and connect with her. Okay, so a few things. I don't know a lot about her. And what I do know is limited. I know that she was part of Glee, the cast of Glee. And way early back in the very beginning of Glee, when it was like really cool and all that, I watched it for a bit. And then I didn't really. I got busy with life and raising kids and such. So I don't have the background or the depth that you all do of her, her experience, her role on Glee. And that's what she's most known for, you know, that's at least for me, that's how I know of her. So I don't want to disrespect her other roles or her other, um, her other um, interests and such. And so um, I just want to be clear on that, okay? Because I know some of you are mega fans and I just, my heart goes out to you. Whenever someone makes their transition like that and they're young, she's so young and she had a child and the manner of her, her passing, it's just, I, I ache for you if you're a fan, okay? I really feel that. All right, so let's bring her in. She is so friendly. Like, she is so nice. Like, we could have drinks. She's like, oh, thanks, Bridget. And she kind of moves her hair. She kind of does this. She has beautiful hair. It's like very wavy. And she kind of, she's kind of, it's heavy. It looks heavy. Is it heavy? Is your hair heavy? That's a strange thing to ask, a, like a dead person, right? We can joke about the afterlife, can't we? She's like, oh, she has a funny, you guys, she has a quirky sense of humor. She's quirky. I like that. She's like, yeah, we don't have to be all heavy. I'm like, okay, good, because yeah, she like literally moves her hair back and it's like gorgeous. I'm like, wow, what a beautiful, beautiful woman. Yeah, okay, gorgeous hair, gorgeous hair. I'm like, okay, so I might have a little hair envy because my hair is not that thick and, and luscious. That is very beautiful hair. She's like, thank you, thank you, she says. Um, so tell me about yourself like what are your interests um as as a human like when you were here on the human plane what are what were your interests what did you um, spend your time doing what did you like or enjoy or that kind of a thing i'm seeing something really sweaty like kind of like a gym but i don't know if it's it kind of looks like hot yoga, but it's not just sitting in place yoga. Like she's not just holding a place. Like she's ex like a Pilates yoga or a CrossFit or something, kind of like that. She's like showing me working out. Like I literally see her at the gym. So that's impressive. Okay, so did you do that because of work or did you do that for yourself? She says, um, personal, it's personal. She said it feels good when you, she says, I don't, Oh, this is interesting. I don't know if a lot of people know this about her. If you're a mega fan, you probably do. But she, she's sharing that she struggled with her weight a bit. And I don't know if it was when she was younger. And she said, I didn't, I never really felt like I was this beautiful image of what you would see in Hollywood. She says, I wouldn't be this typical, um, I'm going to use the word starlet. That's way too old school for you. But starlet, you feel like, um, you definitely have star power, I'm going to say that. And you have a beautiful voice. Your voice is, is very, I don't know if she's saying you got, oh, she, you must have sang, you wrong Glee. <laughs> like your voice. She has this kind of little, uh, kind of a lower, like a little bit of a tonal part of her voice. And I don't remember your voice. I can't recall. It's been like lots of years. I, and I wasn't a huge fan of Glee. I was okay with it. I was fine with it. Like I said, I was just busy. You guys, I was busy. Do not hang me up by my toenails, people. 
I was busy raising children. You know, she's like, oh, I can respect that. So she is sharing that she didn't see herself as one of these like stars, like movie stars or that kind of thing. She's also showing me like Disney Channel or Nickelodeon, like young, young stars or people on television young. She's showing me that. And I don't know if she's looking at that. And then she also mentions people like, oh, okay, I have to be careful when I, okay, just a minute. Whew. I have to be a little, I have to be sensitive. I have to make sure that I'm culturally respectful, that I am not that I am uh, culturally appropriate. And yet at the same time, you're showing me images of, of um, like Disney stars that, are, that represent diverse communities. And I think that's awesome. And yet I don't wanna be like stereotypical on, it's, this is interesting. She's like, just drop it. She's like, drop, oh my God, you are real. I love how real you are, Naya. She says, she literally says, I have not had a dead person tell me that. She literally says, Dr just drop it. Drop the, the be careful. She's like, drop the, who cares what they think? She says, if they're my fans, they'll love me. They don't have to love you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> She's like, aren't, you, aren't we here to inspire? Yes, we are. So let's get focused on that and not care what other people think about us. Okay. Wow, that was a... Okay, thank you, Naya. Naya, the life coach from the afterlife. I like her. I like you. It, which kind of makes me a little emotional, I feel. Oh, there's the thunder. Do you guys hear that? Oh, I feel emotional, you guys. Instantly, I feel this energy rush of... Tears want to come because I feel like, oh my gosh, you didn't have time. Like to be more of an advocate, to be more of a mother. She says, a mother, a mother. She said, I saved my son. She said, I saved my son. Like she's very proud, you guys. Everyone, do you hear me? She's very proud. I saved my son, she says. And as a mom myself, I'm... Ooh, I feel that. It's interesting because I feel it in like in my head, like my eyes, my thoughts, my the clairvoyance, the vision, and I literally see it. It almost looks like kind of a pontoon boat thing. I don't know. What are you showing me? He's safe. She says he is safe. And then she says, wow, we're digging right into this, aren't we? And then she says, I couldn't let both of us, I couldn't let both of us drown. So, and she's showing me the current was too strong. And she says, the water changes quickly. She says, you don't realize you, you really don't realize it. I mean, it looks beautiful and peaceful and tw tranquil, and then it, it just changes. Like, you don't realize the power. So do you feel bad? Like, do you have regret? I mean, I know in spiritual terms and context, spirit doesn't have, like, the feelings like we have, but oftentimes I, I can sense or see, or spirit, spirit like you will show me looking back over the human experience and if there are things you would have done differently. Oh, yes. She's like, well, of course, I, I want I would have wanted to be here, you know, to be a person, to be with my son, to be with life. And then she's showing me like an ex, an ex. I don't know if it's an ex-husband. And it's it's weird because I don't quite see the whole picture. I see a man and I don't know if he was a fiance that was ex-fiance or an ex-husband, but it was definitely a committed relationship. But then also it looks like there was some potential infidelity there. And there's also some, um, what looks like um, maybe addiction behavior. It could be um, drugs or alcohol. I'm not sure on whose part. I'm not, I'm not shaming anybody. I'm not um, being very specific on who, but I just, I can see that. Basically she's showing me this man and they've been through a lot. And then I see another woman too. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know if he had another woman or if she had a different partner. I don't know um, for sure. But of course, she said, of course I would have, do I want, did I want more time? Would I like to have more time? Yes, 
Yes. Yes, of course. From a human perspective, she says a human context. Yes, of course. Of course. I mean, I think most people would in the situation that I was in. And she's sharing with me, it was a beautiful day. She's like, Bridget, it was a beautiful day. Like the sun and the water. And she said, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. She says, there was no sense of danger or, or fear. She says, it was just a beautiful day. Do you guys hear the rain? Let's just listen. The water element is present. It helps with clearing. Listen to the rain. Close your eyes for a moment and listen. Breathe in and exhale out as you hear the rain falling, pounding. Rain clears, water clears and cleanses. It's powerful. It is appropriate for this right here, right now, isn't it? Okay, so everybody that's watching, let's send some love from our heart to her child, her little boy. Archangel Michael, very present. She says, oh, wow, this is emotional. Without God's strength, she says, it feels like she was, she believed in God. And it feels like there's a little bit of a religious element, maybe from her family of origin, maybe from her. And the angels, Archangel Michael, that gave me the strength to last as long as I did, she says. Send love, you guys. Come on, just. <sighs> this grief that I feel that you feel just listening to Naya and feeling connected to her energy is an opportunity for healing for you, for me, for all of us, for our own lives. Do you have relationships right now that are less than where you're not showing up fully? Like she's giving me this incredible feeling, this sense of do what you need to do. She's like, even if you think you can't get through it or there's hard times or you're suffering, she says, your life is worth it. Your life is worth it, she says. Even the pain, she says, I know the pain. I know the struggle. Yeah, and then she literally shows me body image stuff, you guys. Body image, I don't look like everybody else. Um, I'm different than other people, and people that look like me don't become famous. That is heavy duty. And I feel like it's multiple layers. It feels like a cultural component. Let's just be clear. Let's be clear, it feels like that. And it also feels like physical body and am I beautiful? And then she says, my mom, oh, oh, her mom is sad. Oh, 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 oh gosh, I feel that pain. I am really sensitive. <laughs> Maybe this is why I haven't talked to you <laughs> yet until this point. My empath, you guys, my empath heart is just pounding right now. My mom, she says, my mom. Cue the rain. Cue the rain, you guys, wow. My mom, she says, my mom. There's a lot of pain there. She's working toward peace.
her baby has her eyes, is what she's saying. Her mom says, her son has her eyes. I see you in his eyes, is what her mom says. And she hears her mom say that. My mom made, made me feel beautiful, she says. I'm just going to hold my microphone. My mom made me feel beautiful. She told me I was beautiful. She told me I could do anything. She always supported me. My mother, my mother, my mother, my mama always loved me. My mom always loved me. And then she says, I want everyone to know that love transcends the human experience. Like that she tranced. No, she doesn't say experience. Naya says, I want everyone to understand and know that love transcends your human. Your human life. Love transcends your human life, she says. I can feel it here. I can feel it. That's really all we are is love, she says. So when you love and you feel love, and even when you feel sadness, that's connected to love. It's because of the the feeling of the the loss and she says don't cry for me she's like when you cry you're crying for a part of yourself that you have let go that you have let die and she's saying live let yourself love be love not in another person but in yourself she says I really struggled to get to a place where I can love myself fully and then she says, I want that for you, too. Powerful message of self-love from Naya Rivera from the afterlife. Wow, girl, we got deep fast. And the rains are pounding. Like, if I could turn the camera around and show you, you would not believe how torrential the rain is. I hope the audio is okay. Are there other messages that you would like to share? don't wait she says don't wait don't wait and then she also says you are stronger than you think you are and she says god is with you when she says god it's like source creator essence universe love okay god is with you and inside you in you god is with you or in you both yeah okay Archangel Michael was with her. She's showing me very specifically. And Archangel Michael walks with her son. Yeah. He's in good hands, she says. His family loves him completely. And she says, um, thank you to my co-stars and to my friends and my family for the loving messages and the support for my son and for my family, she says. This was, and she says, yeah, it was unexpected. She said, I didn't know. To answer your questions, no, I didn't know I was going to die. No, I didn't choose to die. No, I did not commit suicide, she's saying. That is not true. I did not take my own life. No one took my life, she's saying, clearing all those things up. She says, live, live fully, feel love. When you cry for me, you're crying for yourself. You're crying for parts of yourself that you know you're not loving. You are not loving yourself. She's like, the parts of yourself that you are projecting onto me, Naya says, oh boy, this is deep. Okay, are we really going to talk about that? You are projecting onto me, she says, onto my death and my loss, your own, your own regrets, 
your own missed opportunity, missed um, missed chances, chances, things you didn't ta didn't do. She's like, it's not too late for any of that. It's not too late for any of you. She's like, you have to believe that you're beautiful. You have to know your love and you're worthy. She says, I want, I would like to share that message. Okay. All right. Fair enough. We have been having a conversation in the afterlife with Naya Rivera. Thank you so much for being here. I hope we've inspired your spirit. Mm -hmm. Maybe given you some peace if you're a fan so that you can feel her energy and her messages for you, for your life. It's your life after all. Do you want to say it together? Come on over. She like leans in and you've got to live it, she says. <laughs> She's fun too, you guys. <laughs> Just live it. <laughs> yeah, you're great. You're fun. Yeah. All right. Thanks for being here, everyone. Thanks for watching Above Life channel on YouTube.